Speaking, I'm your host, Daryl Mishluck. Thank you, the viewers, for tuning in. Of course, thank our sponsor, Safeway, for getting all the produce and products we need for each and every show. This week on the show, I have a guest, and a very special guest. It's a chef. And uh, you know what? He's probably got the best view of cooking in Kenora. That's my hint. So when we come back to Community Cooking, I have a guest, and we're going to be doing some great stuff. So Community Cooking, I'll be back in two minutes. Community Cooking is sponsored in part by Safeway. Fresh produce, canned goods, meats, baked goods, and much more. Safeway, giving their best to you and Community Cooking. Community Cooking and Boston Pizza, two great ways to get a meal. That's right, Community Cooking is on NCC 10, and it is brought to you by the great people at Boston Pizza. So tune in to NCC 10 every week and watch Community Cooking, brought to you in part by Boston Pizza. Because remember, you're amongst friends at Boston Pizza. Nom, nom, nom. Let's go. Hello, we're back, and I did promise a guest, and here he is, Sean Spencer from the Best Western Lakeside Inn and Convention Center, Conference Center. We're, yeah, we were just the discussing that, weren't we? Best place on the lake. It's the Best Western, highest up office in the land, yeah. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Nice to Glad meet you. Glad to have you here. Uh, you're going to do something different for us. I said, come, do something different that I haven't different, done. A little light, yeah. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to make a smoked salmon pizzette with uh, field greens, the sort of vegetables on it, and just a nice little lemon olive oil vinaigrette. And later on, I'm going to bring in a surprise guest to make uh, strawberry flambe. Okay, so a pizzette. What's a pizzette? It's like a flat, it's a made on a flatbread uh, okay. pita pizza, and it's just basically a, yeah, a pizza, and it's just a different kind of way of having yeah, hey. smoked salmon. Something new, anyways. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to get started? Uh, well, first of all, we can uh, start here. I've started a little bit here. Uh, okay. Now, what I've got in there is some olives and just diced orange pepper. You can do whatever okay. you want. You could put red onion, which we're going to slice finely and throw on top. And uh, you could use regular olives. You could use black olives. You could use whatever you want. Now, i got to say, you know, I don't use olives a lot. But when you were cutting up these olives, the aroma. Yeah, it's, a, it's went, a different. Wow, this is like a really, and I recognize the smell. Yeah. So I'm going, okay, I, that's that's really neat. So The way I kind of explain it is it kind of smells and tastes like ink. I don't know if you've ever gotten your pen and your thing and got a bit on your finger and in yeah. your mouth. That's I don't know. It's kind of like a caper to Okay. It's something that classically is used with uh, smoked salmon. Right. And yeah, this just kind of goes along with it. Right everything. on. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need next? So whatever I got there. And then, uh, well, of course, we're going to need some Swiss cheese, which we've pre-grated right here. A uh, little bit of dill. Okay. I'm going to need a small little bowl. We can help you with that. Oh, that'd be we great. We have bowls around here all over the place. There's well, a small little one. Right is that good? There. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, and my little spoon right in here. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to take about two ounces of cream cheese here. It's been softened pretty good, so okay. I'm going to just mush that up a little bit. Now, when you're, how long have you been cooking? Tell us. Oh God, a long time. Uh, 15 years, I guess, or so. 11, wow. 12, somewhere in there. I started in grade 8 anyways, a long time ago. Holy moly. Certain little place downtown there, yeah. And you've gone away? I've gone away to Toronto to George Brown uh, College and okay. hospitality school there, and I received my schooling there and a whole bunch of great teachings, and then I oh, wrote my Red Seal. Karen, we could have used a little bigger bowl here, I guess. But okay. So I've just thrown a little bit of fresh dill in there. You can use dry; it's not an issue. Oh, dill ache the smell. Yeah, Hot. the fresh stuff is good. So great. It's good. It's good. So what I'm gonna oh, my stubborn little sucker here. I'll just give it a little cut. Now you're adding, and we're going to add garlic. We're going to add a little bit well? of fresh garlic, okay. not too much. Just okay. you don't want to kill somebody with the garlic, but it's nice to just have a little. Yeah, but garlic really is the essence of life. Yes, I it mean, is. You can't really kill someone with it, you know. No. You yeah. can just make their life better. You, well, they might not have too many friends standing <laughs> around, them, but so I'll just cut that up a little bit finer. It's nice to have chunks so you can taste it. I find, anyways, you can mince it if you like, though, or. You can throw it all in a Cuisinart, and you could do that too. Okay. So what I've got here is just basically what's going to go on top of the pizzette. Okay. The flatbread. So it's just the dill, the garlic, and the um, it's just cream basically cheese. A spread. Okay. Yeah, basically. So we got that right there. Such a great smell too. Oh, mm -hmm. lots going on in there. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the stove over here. Okay. What do you want me to put it at? Because I can handle that for you. We'll put that one at 350. There we go. Well, you know, we're going to go 375. What the okay. heck? And I'm just going to turn that guy on there and 
start heating up our pan. Okay. Now, olive oil, that seems to be the choice of most cooks. Is that true? Well, it's got the most flavor and it's got a very low fat content. Okay. It. And it's, uh, it's good for you, especially this stuff, it's extra virgin. So I'm just gonna let that heat up slowly and I'm just gonna basically, oh, that was close, eh? Okay. Heat up these flatbreads here and just get a little brown on them and then we're gonna start building our pizzette. Okay. So, get that heat coming through there. You betcha. So right now what I'm gonna do is slice up a little red onion to go on top of that while we're waiting for the pan to heat working up. Working at the uh, Lakeside Inn is pretty neat in the summer, eh? You get so many different people yeah. through there. Yeah. No, it's uh it is. So we look at I look at the book, uh, there's a sign in book upstairs yeah. and some of the places where people are from South Africa and I think some of them are made up because I haven't heard of them before. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love here I'll get the trash there. Thank you, you very you. much. Oh, yeah, nice. Lakeside Inn, great place, dining rooms, a beautiful view, mm -hmm. you know, and um, always a varied menu. Yep, it's and, changing uh, and it's kind of staying the same at the same time almost. Now, I like I, to try and do different specials and stuff like that a lot of the time. So, and, and you know, each executive chef tries to bring their own little something twist on to things, it. Yeah. Now, now, what would your twist be? What kind of, well, what do you... working in Kenora pretty much my whole entire life is kind of, you got to do what people in Kenora want to eat, yeah. basically. So... We've, we've gone fancy, we have saw that that didn't work 100% well, so we kind of came back a little bit with your steak and lobster, yeah. classical stuff, and now what we're trying to do is hybrid them both together and okay. make everyone happy. Oh, neat. So, yeah, every day is a trial and an error, but right on. so far, uh, oil's going good here, so okay. I'm going to just plop this in here and just... So we're just frying that up a bit? Yeah, I just, that... just like to get it started a little bit quicker, okay. so it's just going to bubble, I'll throw a little salt and pepper and let it cool for just a second there. Okay. Maybe while we're doing that, I'm going to make our lemon vinaigrette. Oh, okay. Uh, we have the lemons here somewhere. Perfect. i got to show off your tray here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's, let's bring out. this out here. Now, you can tell that I didn't set up the show today because <laughs> it's never quite disorganized or looks this good. But, but as soon as Sean walked in, he said, well, give me a pan and we'll put this stuff out. We'll put that out there. Look at that. Now, that's presentation for you, folks. And hopefully I will learn... So I want to add well to my, your my uh, abilities here. So we'll get the lemon out for you. There you sure. go. I need just a little, thank you, sir. Just give, give this guy a little flip over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's Ooh, getting yeah. dark in a hurry, eh? Yep. Well, it's probably good. We're going to pull her off It there. gets hot fast, that Yeah, the good old electric ovens, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's probably good there. Now I'll get a, get a cookie sheet somewhere. Oh, you know a what? While ago. I threw it in the oven. <laughs> well, oh. we have more here. We have lots of cookie Perfect. sheets. Perfect. So... So I'm just gonna. So just lay, lay that on there. Yeah, watch that one there is hot. Okay, I'll just Let's put it out to the there. side. Perfecto. Now, a little vinaigrette. Now I'm gonna probably get some seeds in here, but I'll fish them out in a minute with the fork. Okay. Usually they have those fancy zesters and stuff like that. Now the vinaigrette has mm. no vinegar in it. No, well I replaced the, the vinegar. Like we could throw a little splash in, but the lemon's an acid as well. So right, it's, so it's more, of, it's just a name, terminology basically for... Basically, it's a style of, oh, yeah. Okay. Once you get into it, there's all just tons of different things you can do. Uh, different ingredients, that's what it is. And you're only limited by your own imagination, I guess. And that's the key eh, with, with cooking, yeah. is, is just try stuff. And trial and error too, because exactly. I mean, if things don't taste good together, they don't taste good together. Yeah. But I'm finding it each and every time I do the show, and I experiment into another area or, or look at somewhere on the web, you know, mm -hmm. a different country's type of cooking. Oh, yes. There's um, tons. So oh, there we go. High-tech stuff. More? Less? Uh, that's probably just plenty. Okay. Just going to season it up a little bit just to give it a little accompaniment because that's okay. what salt and pepper is, is a accompaniment of flavor. Very it good. It just enhances everything and okay. brings the flavors out. Now, i got to explain to everybody. If we look a little uncomfortable, it's very hot in the kitchen today. As a matter of fact. <laughs> okay, it's hotter than most. So uh, this is kind of going to be the last show indoors for this season. <laughs> we're going to go get outside, barbecue yeah. pretty darn soon. Beside a lake somewhere. Because it's, like it's getting pretty warm. But we, we're here. We're dedicated to showing you the best cooking there is. There is. No, come on, bring it in. Here's the assistant helping us out here. Look at That's our right? special guest, but we haven't said is who it is. This is for my brow, Jay. Oh. Did I spoil it? No. Okay, good. Because I have no idea what you said. <laughs> All right, lemons we'll in go there. with that way. What you want to do is just basically have an even amount of uh, 
oil and the acid or the lemon. Okay, okay. That should probably be enough. Cool. There we go, and I can just, I can cover this up, or if I had a shaker bottle, right. shake it up, or okay. I can do this. It's probably gonna need, need a little bit of honey somewhere. I have honey, I believe. I should say, oh yes I do, there we go. Oh, bueno. I also have corn syrup if you want. Mm. Just give her like, a, just, it just needs the smallest, just to okay. neutralize the acids and stuff oh. like that. That'll just kind of bring the sharpness away, okay. the bitter and the, the, the sweet. Sounds good. So, that looks like she's all ready to go. And again, you can do in the Cuisinart, add the oil slowly, it'll thicken right. up thicker, but that's all we need to do. Or even to add. see yeah. little jars, you can make shakers, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Good. You see in most, just a little different variation there. Yep. So, back to the salmon pizzette here. Okay. Maybe it looks a little darker there. That's perfect. There. Okay. So, I'm just going to take our cream cheese spread that we made earlier. Add a spoon. Oh, spoons, spoons, spoons. Or, there okay. we go. I even have uh, spatulas if you like. Hey, that might work. Uh, I, sh I should be okay with this. Okay. So now we're spreading the cream cheese. Yeah, it's not working very well, but that's what we're going to do. Okay. Once it heats up, it's a little cool yet. But... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, let me see your spatula. There. Okay. Let's try that out and see how we do. Now, looking at this, I mean, you can do so much with this base. Change it. That's, change yeah, it. That's it, exactly. Salmon or fruit or yeah. different things. Wow, that's pretty neat. I like that. You watch you don't get fruit too hot or something like that. No, but no. it could work. Like if yeah. you did like peaches or strawberries, yeah. if you had the right kind of fruit. Okay, yeah. I'm get rid of this. Here, I'll take it from you. I'm your assistant. All right. I'm not used to this. I usually uh, fly alone sometimes. All right, so there we go. We got our this here, this here. Time for the salmon. Now I have a pair of scissors here. Excellent. Now what we had was, when you go down looking for smoked salmon, I gotta tell you, there's like choices. And this is what you say your preference to this, because it's nice it and flat nice. and it's done like locks already. Yeah, exactly. But there was you know, also smoked salmon too. in the deli end of the uh, the meat section. Yeah. So you can crumple that stuff if that you want work. today. You can do anything you want. Okay. Yeah, change the ingredients up. Some beautiful stuff here, smell that up here. Mmm. Oh, I love the smoked. See, I'm not a big salmon fan, but no. I've been learning to enjoy it. Excellent. The smoked salmon, yeah. awesome. It's all a, it's an acquired thing. It takes a little while to get used to, but. No. And I have done some fishing out west in BC. We did some oh, salmon fishing a few years ago when we did That's the cook. Uh, we did a fishing show. So oh, we really? Out there doing that, so it was pretty neat stuff. Perfect. All you want to do is basically just cover it nice and gently. This stuff's powerful stuff, and there's yep. tons of flavor in it. So okay. We're just gonna we'll save this for another day. Yep. Right there. Okay. Now all I'm going to simply do is just take my little mixture here. Or you can use olives or whatever you want, or okay. you can even throw some fresh garlic. But we got it in the spread already. Right. Just going to put it around there nicely. That looks really Cheers. nice. Like yeah. colors, and you could use some red pepper too if you wanted. Yeah, it. you could. You okay. Could do anything. You could even throw a bit of green onion in there. Or, okay. And I'll just take this red onion that I had cut up here. Now the red onion is a little sweeter flavor right? mm -hmm. than yeah. than your white. Yeah. Okay. No. It's uh, not near as strong. Now, I gotta tell you, you know what? This is a pretty big step for me. Here we are with salmon, something I'm not fussy on. Onion, I love the flavor of onion, but I don't like the texture of onion. So I'm, I'm stepping out here with you. I'm gonna, be, like I'm brother, gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna be going after some food I normally wouldn't be doing. So yeah. nope, it's a true sure. test of how good it's going to be. You can convert me. You think so? Oh yes. <laughs> All right, I'm just uh, nice and simply gonna just put some cheese on there. And you can put it under the broiler because we browned it now, or like you don't want to heat it up too much. Right. You just basically want to melt the cheese and brown it a bit. That's why I turned it up a little bit higher to 375. Okay. You could even get away with 400. It might so let me, I actually have a pan in there I want to take out because I put it in there by accident. Perfect. We'll get it out of the way. And that one can go in there. There we go. So we're going to let that broil, heat up, melt the it, cheese. Won't take long. It got a little hot on us before, so what I'm gonna do is switch it to broil. Where's the broil would be oh God. here? High tech Hi. stuff. Perfect. We so go. now we got the bottom hot, that's not gonna take long, so we gotta remember about okay. that. Okay. But while we're doing that, do we have a nice little platter or a plate we can serve this on and I'll do the, you betcha. the greens. Oh yes. A white plate there. Yeah, that should work. Okay, and we have the uh, Greens? Yeah. Right? I got the rest of it should be, I'll take the carrots. Oh, here, yeah. carrots. Okay. I got some peas on there. Okay. Any old trusty scissors? Gotcha. 
Would you mind, sir? Not at all. Okay. Now, what, what you had said on there, some, some uh, uh, greens. Is this what you meant, like uh, mixed baby greens? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. There's all different kinds of varieties. You can get field greens or spring mix, okay. and they all just have different kinds. Some have GQ. Yeah, no, that'll work absolutely fine, though. Right on. Thank you. So I'm going to just place the salmon pozette around the edges, kind of like... Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is just put this in the middle. It's, it's going to act as a salad and also as hopefully as a kind of a garnish. Okay. So we'll just try and get that up as high as we can. And we'll just cut a little couple. Thanks, sir. Right. We can just cut a couple strawberries and just kind of make our Strawberry salad up a little bit. Just a little oop, fan strawberry. Ooh, very fancy. Kind of put them there. We'll get used to this, folks. I'll be cooking by myself again <laughs> soon. But this is how we teach you how to make fancy stuff. You and know? it's that easy. I mean, I just simply took a strawberry, yep. put a couple cuts, fan her out, and anyone can do it. Our trusty baby carrots here. A couple of those. That's probably almost getting there, right? Yeah, it's very close. I'll just do a little dice. Nothing, nothing major. Okay. That's just gonna add color to this. And yeah, the just something to crunch when you okay. when you're eating this because there's not much to those greens. They're very tender pieces of uh, lettuce and stuff yep. like that. But there's different. There's like horseradish flavor in there. There's all kinds of beet leaves. And yeah, it's kind of neat. Different looking. stuff. Yeah, just we to actually, change it up and get away this. from your old uh, iceberg lettuce yep. salad. Yeah. It's nice to go away, but it's nice that you're bringing this type of stuff to Kenora. Yeah, because like absolutely. when you go away, you go to Toronto, you sit down, you, th you say salad. You can already expect one thing, and that's what you get. That's exactly right. In Toronto, right. you get this, and you go, "What is this?" And then once you <laughs> you enjoy it, you go, "Wow, why can't?" And then you get go that home and you look up on your computer and see what it was. Yeah. And you you wanna you wanna try and make more. Just come along nicely there. Yeah. And what else can we throw? That's some orange pepper here. So that's the nice part of traveling, and that's the nice part about. Like uh, having chefs in Kenora, mm -hmm. I think it's very important that yeah. uh, people come back and, and bring this kind of stuff. And oh, that's sure. what we try to do with the show is to explain to people, you know what, it, it can be easy and fun, but it doesn't have to be boring. No, so no. color and just all kinds of goodies. Cool. Just trying to get some height on that sucker. It's not going to stay there, but yeah, we'll just throw a couple half strawberries on there. I always like fruit in a salad. I don't know why. Or even with steak, actually, fruit's nice. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's right. You were telling me about your barbecue shows there earlier. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sick of the, the elastic off here. Now, do you find it hard getting a lot of stuff when you want to do something different? In Kenora Seeds, we're kind of central Canada. Yeah, we're, we're central about as Canada, far exactly. as any coast as we can get. It takes a little <laughs> more legwork. Stuff like that, you got to try and get on as early as you possibly can and okay. talk to the guy's nice in the uh, restaurant supply stores. Right, and right. And sweet talk them there. Excellent. Right. That looks wonderful. Wonderful. Right. Yeah. Could be just, just by sim itself. Simple, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else can we throw on there? Uh, I'm not sure what else we have. Uh, oh, pardon me. You have snow peas here. Oh, okay. It's always important if you're doing them that you clean them properly and get the, the strings. Okay, so you crack it. Oh, just kind of get each end. Oh, okay. Then right. you can cut them a little fancier. And just, kind of just play around with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at this string in here. Are you, you got her down? No. No. <laughs> hey, there's the one edge. I got the one edge. Okay. And then you do the other edge. Is there two edges? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not so bad. There we go. I'll just make that kind of like that. I bet you our salmon's almost done here. I think it is. You know? I bet you it is. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Whee. Let's let that cool off just a second. So okay. It's important to do take those little stringies off, or else you have, end up. Oh, well, didn't work. Prove me wrong right now. <laughs> you'll end up chewing on that, and they'll get stuck in your teeth, and that's just no fun. No. No fun at all. All right. So we'll do this. We'll get a little cleaned up now. Oh, beauty. I love that type of peas. Mm, oh, the snow so peas good. and the crack peas. Oh, no, they're nice. This time of year too, everything. Those fresh. Yeah, they taste like they're right from oh. the garden, eh? Man. Beautiful. So, did you ever garden when you were growing mm, up? Oh yeah, when I grew up, I did. My mom had a beautiful garden. Okay. A couple gardens. She still does. <laughs> Great. Yeah. No, nope, good times. 
All right, I guess we can cut the pizzette and okay. serve it up. Holy moly, that looks awesome. A little different variation on pizza. We can maybe just cut a couple of these suckers. Just gonna set her off a bit. Just some coloring. Right there on. we go. Sure. Brighten her up a little bit. Eh? And the smell, I gotta tell you, the smell that's coming from this is incredible. That's a nice. You have that little bit of smoke mm. in there from the salmon. So you see our nice little layer of our cream cheese yeah. there, and you can see the salmon. And we're just gonna place that around the edge of the plate here. Oh, don't wanna get in the way of that garnish. Okay. There we go. Things. Get rid of that sucker. There we go. Here, I'll take that. Thank you, Sam. So now our vinegar vinaigrette. That's what we got there, our lemon vinaigrette that we made okay. earlier. It's all ready to go. And that just goes over yeah. the salad portion? We're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna pour it right over top. That should be good mixed up there. You can, if you want to just hey, spoon might as it well, out. Eh? Tablespoon might be a little easier. Perfect. That is so incredible. Be that. Meal fit for a king, eh? Well. Or just us. <laughs> just us. Let's throw a little fresh dill on there too. Just kind of... But there's presentation for you folks. Now, we'll just go down this. This is smoked salmon pizzette with field greens and lemon vinaigrette. Yeah. So you took um, uh, cream cheese. Yep. And we mixed that with some garlic and, and dill. And, and dill. A salt and pepper, I think we did. Okay. So long ago, I don't remember yet. But... Mix that all up. Then we take a pita. Yep. Fry it quickly just to brown just it. Just to brown it up, yeah. Then you put get more of a crunch if you do that. That's cool it basically off a little. why. Yeah. Put the cream cheese on. Mm -hmm. And then we add our uh, salmon. You start with the salmon, yeah. And then... We use Swiss cheese. You can top it with right. it. Swiss has a nice... Uh, it works kind of really little well bite with the salmon. To it. Yeah, yeah, it's got a nip and yeah. it's got that nice flavor to it. Yeah. And then we added uh, the, the olives and... Um, and the Yeah, and the orange peppers. pepper. Yeah. Yep. You can do anything you want, though. You can change it up. And, and we throw it in the oven, the, bake it a little. Yep. Right on. Well, you know what? We're going to take a break because we're going to come back with our guest star. But <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have some because that's what I do here. So, oh, the smell is incredible. I tell you, you know what? Like I said, I'm going out on a limb here. So, oh my. Hits you in a couple different places, oh, does it? Yeah. It is awesome. Good. And I'll tell you, I'm honest with you. I'm not a big fan of salmon. And I don't, there's none of that fishy. No, no, no fishy no. whatsoever. That's when you get that fish odor. It's kind of the that, fish are moving on a little exactly. bit. Exactly. So that this is, yeah. is incredible. So, you know what? We're going to take a minute. We're going to clean up here. I'm going to finish that piece of pizza because <laughs> I can. <laughs> and when we come back, we have a special guest to do a strawberry banana flambe is what we're going to be pulling off here. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. Community cooking will be back in. Hello, we're back. And like promised, we have another special guest, Jay Martin, the... Uh, Dining room manager. Dining room manager at the Lakeside in Best Western Lakeside Inn and Conference Center. You're going to get yeah. us in trouble. We'll get this done right. <laughs> we're we're so much. Mark will slap me. That's okay. I think we've said the name lots, huh, Mark? Best view in town. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so what are you doing for us here? I do a little uh, strawberry banana flambe with a little, a little bit of brandy. Okay, very, sounds very good. Nice. Probably the best pan you can have is a, is a, is a copper pan. Uh, if you don't have one, you can still do it. It just doesn't, this doesn't quite present as now, well. Now, why, why the copper? Copper heats up very, very, very quickly. Okay. And uh, it doesn't keep its heat very, uh, very well, but it, it does heat up very well, and that's really what you're looking for. All right. So we start with uh, basically a half... Uh, well, depending on how many you're making, depends on how much you kind of want to use. Four tablespoons, let's call it. Sure, why not? Okay. That sounds like a very nice place. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, my you... measurements here. So <laughs> those aren't the best, so... The, uh, we're just going to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of lemon in here. With okay. that'll that'll keep the, the uh, butter from browning. Oh, okay, that's neat. Now we're using a gas stove. You guys brought this in for me because I don't yeah. have gas here. This is the best way to do a flambe is on. Pretty much the only way to go. Okay. Well, uh, like if, if you're camping, you know what? This is actually a fantastic dessert if you're going camping because you usually have it already. Okay. You know, uh, you can't really use an electric stove. It just doesn't heat up. Doesn't mean that you can't make the sauce. You just can't get the flame in the in the presentation, okay. which we'll see a little bit later. Understand? Um, that means you won't burn the alcohol off either. Yeah. Well, you don't want to have that going on. Well, that's sometimes <laughs> important, and sometimes not. I guess you know, depending exactly. on how you look at it. So. Exactly. So we're just going to put a little bit of orange in here, just to okay. counteract the acidity of the uh, of the lemon. 
It's uh, the lemon keeps it from browning, but the orange will at least give it a little bit of sweetness. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. A little bit more flavor. It won't be quite as tart. Tack on the acids again. So does that ever heat up fast? Holy moly. It does not take long. So this flambe involves the fruit and some ice cream. Yep. All right. Okay. Lots Let's of do. sugar and butter too. Okay. Yeah, it's not the most dietary dessert you'll ever have in the entire world, but it is good. You can't go wrong with butter. I know that much. <laughs> no, no, you can't. And really, when it when it's done on a show like this, there's no calories or carbs in any of it. I understand. No, it's very light. Yeah, it's very, right. very light. <laughs> and if you believe that, I've got some lovely land in Florida for you, right on the water. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing up uh, eight strawberries, approximately. Approximately. Okay. Depending on size, eh? if they're small, you might add more, or large, you may want to add less. And there seems to be a plethora of strawberries this year. I understand they're, they're growing like mad out west. Is that right? No, oh. they're, they've been very nice lately. The uh, I know Haddishville, around Haddishville, where they, you know, you pick strawberries. Yeah. There's just tons already. Really? Yeah. So it's must great. Be the, must be the hot humid and, weather. And you know what? There. Safeway's got tons in there too, boy. I'll tell you. you Absolutely. You, them? you got them. We are. So right. banana, I find that unusual. Banana, uh, not a lot of people use banana and stuff. So it's so soft. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Um, it doesn't hold very well. No, it breaks down. Um, and break that's usually the biggest one. It's kind of like, kind of like when you're cooking fish, you don't want to cook it too much, right? Um, fruit's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So the straws go in first because the bananas are soft. Right? Right. Bananas are already fairly soft. Okay. And these strawberries are actually really nice. They're nice and ripe. So throw in the bananas right afterwards. Okay. Make sure they get a all nicely covered with our dietary butter. <laughs> nom nom. Now, folks, this is the stuff that you pay big bucks for in the restaurant, and you can do it at home. But you can also go down the lakes. I didn't have this done for you, right? In case you don't want. It. Well, on this, a rare this, occasion. This, this isn't on the menu, but uh, if I'm hanging around and it's, uh, it's and not smoking busy, we convince you that it might be a good time. It might to be have a good it. time to have one. Okay, I could certainly try my best. <laughs> So there's all the sugar coats it now and melts into the butter. Wow. That looks pretty, it pretty good. It looks incredible. Might not have to share this with anybody. Or might not <laughs> want to share this <laughs> so. I'll be in my office. Yes. Yep. So now you're heating it up a little bit more. You just heat it up just a little bit. This is the, uh, the big okay. secret. Uh, as well it comes down. This is the big presentation part. Yeah, okay. Of it, okay. Pretty much. If you'd like, you can start putting the uh, ice cream on, okay. the, on the pan oh, there wonderful. and we can get going. Okay, I'll just zip that over to you. Sure. Actually, I'm going to use that scoop. Be okay. that. Oh, just nice little bunches here. Ready? Hey, you have to stand back maybe just a little bit. Oh, I, well, we I'm willing to. Extinguisher. Okay, now here's the fun part. Right beside you. Oh, oh. sure, I already checked it. You're good, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's why I brought him along. Hello. <laughs> wow. Is that cool or what? Yeah. And there is your flambéed strawberries and bananas. There, over top the ice cream. Nice, sir. Yeah. Holy moly! That's what something. a great and and look at folks, look how short a time that took. Now I guess you got to get a little bit more expertise when you go to light that thing, eh? Like the alarm like going like off now. <laughs> You know what? Uh, I'm going to have Chris turn around and just pull that thing off the wall. I should have thought of that before we got started. Bring it right here, Chris. And I'll take care of that. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done my job. I'm all good. <laughs> so, we know the flambe went well when the alarm goes off. That's usually a good sign. Holy moly. And that looks so incredible. There and are. quick. What? Quick. Seven Five. minutes. That's it. That's it. You know, and we're done. And just, yeah. That's that's right. And again, if you go Great. back to the ingredients, you could change it up. You could use, yeah. I've done black cherries, we've done pineapple, bananas, And foster. you don't have to use brandy. You could use sambuca, whatever you want, creme, so creme de banana. You so work with the flavors of the alcohol okay. to go with the fruit and things right too. And yeah. You want to put a little bit of crushed pepper on top, please go ahead. Absolutely. There's a variety of different things you can do. Well, there's, we got to try some of this. So that's what we're going to do right now. Mm. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys, you really can't leave. You're going to be doing a number of shows for me, private shows, I guess. <laughs> but, hey, that flambe is incredible. The um, smoked salmon pizzette is on the menu. It is. At the Best Western. It's a little different variation, but it's... Uh, 
So if you want to try it before you before you make it, you want to try it, head on down. Yeah. Come try on. it out there. Yeah, you can try it out for sure. I'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in. And Safeway, our sponsor for getting all the produce and products we need for each and every show. And thank you guys, Sean. No problem, sir. Jay. Thank you. Thank the best Western Lakeside Inn for letting them come on down. And thank you, the viewers, for tuning in. That's been Community Cooking for this week. Look for these recipes on the website. This will be the last in the studio show for this summer. We'll have some more barbecue shows. But it's getting kind of hot and we need to have a break. So uh, look for some new barbecue shows in the very near future. Thank you and see you cooking. Oh, I need a bit more of this because... Really? Thank you.